It's a great question. I mean, I, I think first and foremost. Thank you. I wrote it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. <laughs> when the team, both you and Dave and, and the entire Starkey team was, you know, from concept, proof of concept to now it's, you know, it's in patients' ears. Tell me about what you were feeling throughout the process of introducing Omega AI. Do you still have that maybe, um, I don't want to say, you, you're a fearless leader, but nervousness whenever you're you're looking to push the boundary of what's possible? No, I'm a risk taker. I mean, it's, you know, if for me is if, you know, the biggest uh, risk is not trying. And really with, you know, Omega AI is, you know, it's, you know, I can get up in front of, hundreds of customers, professionals, anywhere. And I know this is the best sounding hearing aid. I mean, it, what this thing, what the technology is doing, when I first put it on, I think I started wearing in July or so. It was, I mean, I've had with Edge AI, it was like, wow. I mean, incredible sound. And then I put this on um, and tried the Omega AI. And as soon as it went on, it was like hearing in 360. And I know mm -hmm. it's been used in marketing stuff, but, you know, we're going to have good marketing and we have the good support for Omega AI. But the product speaks for itself to the, the person. And it spoke to me where I was hearing things, you know, it's almost, you know, it's almost like I could think and tell the hearing aid what to do. You got to experience it because <laughs> I'm talking to you, but I know that if, you know, there's something going on over here, I'm picking that up much more clearer than I have mm. in the, in the past. And so I'm hearing uh, very clear, very natural. And I could say that, um, and I don't hear, there's, you know, of course the circuit noise, nothing, everything is, you know, is, is clear and crisp and I, I can't take them off. Sound quality being number one. And with Omega AI, uh, Dave, you've long been an advocate for really bridging the gap between innovation and of course, clinical utility. So what recent advancements with Omega AI do you believe have truly changed, you know, the patient experience at the point of care? It's a great question. I mean, I, I think first and foremost... Thank you. I wrote it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Um, so the the issue, I guess, as we started, really, it, it's, it's all personalization, customization to the patient, that relationship and that connection between the professional and the patient. We're all busy. One thing we learned, although we've had telehealth features for a very long time, people didn't realize until the COVID pandemic that they needed both synchronous and asynchronous telehealth to remain in touch with their patients to be able to customize and optimize when they couldn't do face-to-face. -face. Now, it doesn't replace face-to-face -face care. Where we've gone with Omega AI in a new direction is called Telehear AI. So if Telehear, synchronous or, or, or asynchronous telehealth, allows you to fine-tune the device to meet the individual's lifestyle or audiometric needs. Telehear AI provides an additional bridge if the professional is not available, if the patient is in a challenging listening environment where even with edge mode, it doesn't work, or with all of the DNN 360, if it's still, if they're still struggling in a particularly difficult environment, they can simply um, use this Telehear AI feature to state what type of trouble they're having and the device, without intervention from the professional, within range, will make adjustments based on the environment where they're in and on the question that the patient asked and provide them with new settings. And then say, try this. Here's your original. They can always keep with the original or they can actually, actually update the devices with the new settings. And to me, that's another way of meeting the patient need Mm -hmm. We'll still engage with the professional to say, here's adjustments that were made, right. but the ultimate judge of our success is the patient. If he or she is saying, yes, that's better. I'm doing better in this situation. I always want to go to the healthcare professional for the challenging situations, or if there's a physical adjustment that needs to be made or some other issue that requires a face-to-face -face or even a virtual visit. But we find that this Telehear AI feature has been met with great enthusiasm yeah. on the part of patients and even professionals to help them handle minor tweaks that can make a big difference in the patient's outcome. Brennan, as it relates to the latest AI features that we have with Omega AI, what are you most excited about? 
you know, if, first, and we mentioned, it, I mean, it's it's all about the sound because you know it, what AI and DNN uh, and our three hundred and sixty and, and spatial and directionality and it's incredible. And you know, putting that all together in that ecosystem and and putting it in, in on the chip with our our uh, uh, engineers have done a great job doing. And you know, there's so many features I could go down, but it's the ones that we keep getting uh, improving on. Uh, we keep improving um, our fall detection. Uh, we now have uh, the balance builder um, and, you know, also, you know, the language translator. And it's that's one where there's a long term goal there. We keep improving. But, you know, our, our intent was, you know, simultaneous trans- translation where the hearing aid becomes the personal assistant with with hearing, health and your day. And, you know, we're seeing those, you know, those dots start to connect because like you've, you know, many have heard me mention the, you know, Iron Man fan. I watched all the Marvel movies with my my son, and, and it's Jarvis in the air. It's you know going to be talking to you and as you need it to, and help you throughout the day. So each generation, each release, um, and they're going to be seeing a lot from Starkey. I mean, we're we're moving fast, and that's that's the way the world and way technology is going. So if it's better, we're going to get it out, and it's it's getting there uh, uh, quicker and quicker. Brandon, you always say Starkey will be. In five years, Starkey will be 10 years ahead. Mm-hmm. What does that look like? You, you are absolutely a visionary leader. You're, again, most tenured CEO in the industry. Uh, you're, you're making these bold decisions. What does that look like 10 years from now? Well, that you can share. Oh, <laughs> I think there'll be a convergence because you, uh, you have the digital patient and the traditional patient, patient now. I don't believe, as Dave was just talking about with our Telehear AI, it's, you know, you're not going to be able to mail these to the patient or have somebody uh, fit themselves. Um, I don't see that anytime soon. Those are revenue plays by other players that are just trying to um, make make money. When you focus on the patient, again, it's that uh, ecosystem where we're helping them throughout the day, not just with hearing. So it really is a hearing enhancer. Well, it's a superpower. I right. I mean, you're, we're making the ear a superpower. The device is, you know, um, incredibly intelligent. They can adapt to the individual's personalized need throughout the day. 